seeing as it usually takes a bit of time in between major uploads. Oh no. And there seems to be a recent influx of attention on my previous top 10. I figured why not break the silence with another musical list where we can all chill and listen to some tunes. The category this time is fire themes. Any song that takes place in a hot location with flames or lava within the Sonic franchise will be up for grabs. It's a classic archetype and one that can be quite effective at raising the stakes, especially when the music reflects the environment. I've carefully selected my 10 favorites for today's show and tell, so without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, Hot Crater. Sonic Advance 2. Being a faster paced game than its predecessor, the music of Advance 2 was appropriately sped up to correlate. It fires off right away with a frantic GBA bassline that's crunchier than any Cheeto. It even sounds like bubbling lava put to a rhythm. Contrary to what I just said about fire and lava raising the stakes though, Hot Crater is remarkably upbeat, especially in the second half where the Advance 2 orchestra kicks in with its brass and horns. It is only the second zone after all, so it makes sense to take a more carefree, live fast approach. It's a fun track that once you to run through and not take things too seriously yet. Although with a bit of an edge to show that while the environment could be dangerous, Sonic is just too cool for it to be an issue. Number 9, The Cauldron. Sonic and the Black Knight. Medieval metal has got to be one of the coolest subgenres out there, and Black Knight wastes no opportunity to prove that. Whereas Hot Crater was a fire stage by technicality, didn't actually interact with any major heat source, the cauldron being set towards the end of the game makes it a very real threat. And the music matches this mood first with a slow, sinister opening that breaks into the main riff, wonderful lead harmonies, and some unexpectedly funky bass fills. My favorite part is at 108 when all the instruments combine into this climb of dire heroism. It gives off a sense of dread without futility. Each room you slash by only sends you into another challenge. It's a gauntlet of embers and steel. The goal is in sight, but until you're there, you can't afford to rest easy. Number 8. Volcano Valley. Sonic 3D Blast. What we have here is a song that dares to ask a question, to delve into the mystery of the volcano. There's a beautiful duality to be found in such a destructive, naturally occurring force. It can inspire both panic and curiosity. And Volcano Alley explores that relationship by way of droning sirens against a pulsing lead with ample reverb, resolving into a gorgeous counter melody of harmonious synergy. It's the sound of laying witness to something incredible 
yet terrifying. A story amidst all the molten debris that never abandons its childlike whimsy. Act 2 is a bit slower, opting to be more pensive and introspective with a complimentary descending arpeggio, but the motif remains intact. Definitely check these out if you haven't. Number 7, Lava Reef, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Now this is a classic right here. A shame it's only a 37 second loop, but it does a lot with what little time it has. It's an explorative tune that isn't preoccupied with striking fear into you as much as curiosity. You're encouraged to look around and become familiar with this unknown territory, but halfway in, that curiosity quickly becomes determination, as the drums rapid fire to grab your attention and guide you in the right direction. You're nearing the end, so stay focused. It won't be long now. Act 2 is also worth mentioning, although it isn't really a fire level anymore. Lava Reef's whole concept is that it juxtaposes a flaming cavern with a frozen crystal palace. But since we're already here, Let's have a listen anyway, it's good stuff. In particular, I love the Mania remix for adding a lead guitar. It's quite the transformation. Like Act 1, the first half is curious. I get a sense of dreamlike intrigue from the slower pace and big room ambience. But then the second half wails away on those bends. As a word of warning, there's something else going on here. Something bad. Be careful. Number 6, Molten Mine. Another entry from Black Knight takes the stage. But where the cauldron was dire, this is nothing short of heroic in its purest form. Piercing lead squeals, a constant rise to push you forward, and an acoustic overlay to keep things in check, even isolating itself at one point to bring the energy down before coming back just as strong. It really is a motivating theme, if nothing else. It's the perfect soundtrack to a grand adventure, constantly building on itself. You get that brief downtime to collect your thoughts and plan your next move, but after that, it's back in the game. What I didn't know though is that this is in fact a remix of a much older song from Black Dawn for the PS1 and Saturn. A surreal discovery to say the least. It already sounded like an 80s action movie, so translating it over to Sonic fit like a glove. Now what are you waiting for? Get out there and save the day.
Number five, Crisis City. Sonic 06. Now you could argue that this is a city level first and foremost, but like a good Nicolas Cage movie, everything is on fire, so it counts. I think the best part about Crisis City is that it's like four songs in one, nearly seven minutes of post-apocalyptic bliss, in addition to the two Generations remixes. Shout out to Classic Sonic's version for adding a sick solo. Being sent into a doomed future without a concrete way to escape, the music captures that frantic confusion of being lost in a dangerous new land. There's never a dull moment here, something's always around the corner to greet you, and the music keeps changing to suit that. The following segment, Skyscraper, begins far more hopeful where the violins attempt to lift you up before crashing back down to reality. Tornado plays during a slower, apprehensive part of the stage, where Sonic must traverse the inside of a... horizontal tornado, I'm not gonna ask. It's focused on platforming and watching your step, so that Crisis City melody takes a step back in favor of a groovier guitar rhythm, but maintaining the same percussion and buildup. Whirlwind might be my favorite, though, since it plays during the Mach Speed segment, where the intensity reaches an apex. The familiar melody returns, but along with a striking lead that swoops in. I can't even call it a guitar solo, it's just noise and feedback. Like the composer is struggling to play while being sucked into a real tornado. And the final crescendo is perfection. A thrilling suspense as you narrowly escape death. There's no time to think anymore, you just gotta move, because that fire is catching up. Number four, Lava Shelter, Shadow the Hedgehog. This song is as cool as the game wants to be. The way it kicks off with those 2000s laser sound effects, that low-tuned Senaway riff, and killer lead tone dripping with angst. I especially like the rhythm that accompanies it. It's broken up to play two quick chords that get muted, giving the lead space to breathe, and then sustaining them at the end of each measure, creating a separation of power. The word cool really is the best way to describe it. You're a lone wolf renegade trying to find answers in a gritty factory full of lava. Anything else and I would have been disappointed. And amidst all the branching paths and conflicting allegiances, it's your longing desire for purpose that's brought you here. Now go take what's yours.
Number three, Red Hot Skull. Sonic Adventure. What a diabolical tune. The Red Mountain music is so whimsical and inspiring, and then you fall down here and it's like, Satan is coming. I don't believe it was ever confirmed, but it's safe to assume that this is meant to resemble hell. Fittingly, the music needed to be eerie and forbidding, a touch of evil to bring it all together. And, well... June certainly knew what he was doing. Not only is it all of those things, but it never sacrifices its catchiness or becomes too off-putting. This is a headbanger, doomsday metal at its finest. A bleeding melody that rings out like a lost soul. Terrific use of stereo, dives, bends, and even a real bass drop. I should also mention that it's nearly five minutes in length. Most video game songs tend to loop after one or two minutes, and some motifs do get recycled, but it's always put under a new variation, making the full runtime a worthwhile listen. There are so many parts to highlight, but I'll leave you with the remainder. Number 2. The Cavern. Sonic 06. Contrasting the previous mood, we have the most chill song today by far. A soft bass line and tactful hi-hats precede a gong beat that sends you deep into the recesses of an active volcano. Despite the premise, everything is quite calm here. Ambient echoes, keyboards, flutes, the occasional wah guitar and muted chugging. It plays up the mysterious angle of this natural phenomenon. There are secrets to be found, and you could be the first to see them. Now, if that was the whole story, it may not have ranked as high, but halfway through, a mesmerizing guitar our solo steals the show, adding a layer of emotion to that sense of wonder. You find yourself getting lost in the sights and sounds, almost intentionally. You know you have to find a way out, but a part of you doesn't want to leave. <laughs>
Number one, the volcano. Sonic 06. All right, you got me. This whole video was just an excuse to talk about this song again. Flame Core is special to me because outside of the intro to his world that plays at the title, this was the first Sonic song that really grabbed my attention and sparked my greater interest in video game music as a whole. Surprise, surprise, it's now one of my favorite tunes in the franchise. It kicks off with a rockin' riff and an addictive main lick with enough metal to challenge Red Hot's skull. The bass is great, chills out with the keyboards for a bit, pinch harmonics and whammy are put to use, but my favorite part has always been right after the song. Solo. He shreds for a bit, which sounds great, complements the chaotic nature of an active volcano, building and building, the background noise gets louder, and then it plateaus, turning into an extensive, melodic run that has stuck with me for years. The energy is reminiscent of Crisis City, being surrounded by unknown dangers with twists at every corner. Makes sense, it was the previous stage. But instead of contemplating the potential hopelessness of the situation, the goal is much clearer now. Like Shadow says, the crust's energy is out of control, with the Chaos Emerald seemingly to blame. But you can't shake the feeling that something else is going on. There's an underlying evil at play. You know what you have to do, and you're in too deep to go back. So, steal your nerves, make a stand, and fight like you always have. Thank you for listening to my uh, questionably poetic interpretation of 10 fiery Sonic songs. Like I said in the beginning, if you're okay with these types of videos getting spliced between the major ones, I'm all for it. They're a lot of fun. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya. If one of you says this list was fire, I swear I will laugh.